Hello everyone and welcome back to the Selenium 2018 tutorial using C Sharp and Visual Studio 2017. In the last few videos we saw how to uh, how to do create extended report, how to um, take and save screenshot and how to embed screenshot in our extended reports just like here this is our last report and how to customize our extended report. Now as we have known like reporting is very important when comes to testing so we have to present some proofs like we got this issue we got this error this thing is working fine this thing is issue but uh, there is one more uh, important aspect of reporting that is email how like when there is a issue like when there is some there are some test methods which are high priority and they are critical whenever there is an issue with them they call them uh, priority 1 7 p1 and s1 when these methods gets failed we generally shoot a mail directly to the developer or the concerned team so emailing is also very important aspect in software testing so today we're going to see how to send an email programmatically we'll create a method that is going to send an email uh, we'll create a test method and then we will move that method directly into the uh, generic method that which can be used again it will be generally it happens in a utility class or a helper class but we are going to do it here so let us start with Visual studio this is not the updated extent now we are back to learning 2018 solution so let us create a new unit test or a test class file whatever you want to create i am creating unit test because it gives me annotations of automatically so this is unit test 4 i don't want to have it uh, let us name it mailing and again we're going to create a test method let us rename this method to send email always try to use try catch and finally it gives a flexibility and it is very important as I have said earlier it is general practice the more you learn the more you use in the more it will benefit you in longer game okay so this is generally my structure or everyone's structure now to send an email you need to have some classes some namespaces so we're going to use here uh, namespace which is provided by Microsoft so we're going to use using system dot net dot mail so this is important so we need we're going to use that as well as we need to have this one also using system.net fine now we have that let us try to create an email for an email to have what should we have we have uh, senders e email because you are sending which you can rename from to whatever like sender email is which we are sending from and then we have uh, sender's password because we're going to log in that also we need to have two or receivers email body subject body also cc if you want to have that uh, in your mail and one more mm, attachment if you have any we're going to, we will try to attach this extent report which we created in the last video so this is all what we need so let us try to have it one by one if i'm missing something i'll add that later so let us see how it goes so now you need to have a new class that is mail message 
you can see it resides in system.net.mail fine and creates its object as usual this is nothing new it creates its object you can see there are some overloads it, it needs a mail address from and to string from true and body we'll use that but in a different way in a simpler way we can say now let us have some strings from email or sender's email now you need to provide here from which you need to send an email fine you can write senders email at domain.com unfortunately i don't have any uh, spare email so i will i'll be using mine so i'll hide that in a moment okay now oops now we need to have the password that is for for our sender's email you need to put password here try to use encrypted in an encrypted way but we are learning here so learning purpose we should we are writing just as it is now whom you are sending to send an email string which you put in two so i am writing two email or you can write it or receive us email as well so you should write here receivers pardon my spelling if i have missed that fine i'll again change this to the later now you need to have subject let us create a string again of subject you will see that how will we will change this in when we create to create a generic method for mail now for temporary light let us write test subject now we need to have body so your body could be body content whatever you want to write it i should i will in writing content body so that so this is this is important because uh, we're going to uh, write we can write html here fine so when we are writing an email uh, sending an email we create a table form or a message form that is very uh, intuitive and uh, quite good information if you are writing a general string or a normal string it will not be very helpful or useful we can create send graphs email attachments all here we can write h1 h2 h3 table system rows all html things you can color the html table rows green red as per your need so that is for a different day so we should write for example we should write h3 and test mail from fine so also we need to close the h3 so this is our content body now we need we will append all these in this mail object fine let us see how do we do that just mail and put dot now it you can see it has cc bcc body and all things you you are going to add as per your need as per your requirement like what do you need to have mail dot from and here going to write from email oops semicolon now no, this is not the way mail dot from okay equal to it should be in mail address form now okay now it says string so now we can add our string our string is from email fine now now going to add whom we are uh, sending this email you can add it anyway mail dot to dot add and it requires 
mail address item or a string address so we can have our two email here so we're going to add it here similarly we can add subject uh, mail dot subject and we have named our string also subject fine now we're going to add body mail dot we have content board uh, sorry mail dot body and what is our mail body content body here going to provide mail that our mail content or the body content is HTML so that we can have the h3 effect it is bool value you can write true here so this is all your mail has been created what do you need to now you need to have a protocol that is used for sending emails which is SMTP that is simple mail transfer protocol which we use in for our mailing we'll be using that also I forgot to add attachment mail you can add mail dot attachment as well as we'll use that later so let us you, if you want to put that mail dot attachment and include the attachment the file the whole path here okay now we're going to add our protocol here so we need SMTP client create its object let us name it SMTP for now new SMTP client and now you should you will see it requires a host name and a port this is very important because if you are sending from Outlook you will have a different port host and port number if you are sending from Gmail it will have different if you will if you will have from live you will need to have this a simple Google search will provide you all the port numbers and the host address I'll try to uh, I'll definitely add that in the description section so I have that for now you can see for Gmail it requires smtp.gmail this is your host and this is your port number so I'll be sending using um, Outlook Outlook Hotmail or this Outlook and Hotmail so Outlook and Live are here so I'm going to use smtp.live.com and port number 587 so just put double quote and write host name smtp dot live dot com i'll be providing this in description you can see that here now put comma and requires port number that is integer so you don't have to put double quotes here just write 587 and there you have it now we, we need to provide credentials into our SMTP client we have here we have from and password so we have email password so that it, uh, SMTP client can log in so let us provide that as MTP object name not and we will see credentials here there is credentials now we use new and we'll have network credentials there it is network credential here we're going to see username and password so that is from email and password fine now we have to enable the SSL that is the secure socket layer so write SMTP dot enable SSL equal to true also notice that I am using Etsy, uh, Outlook and we generally use Outlook or Hotmail because it is easy it is a Microsoft product and we are using Microsoft's code so for Gmail you have to do multiple steps I will explain that later now just write SMTP dot send and put it the inside your mail message object that is mail bingo you are good to go and finally we are not creating driver for now because we don't need that for now you can write inside finally whatever you want to do in finally so this is your 
complete method for sending an email. Now I want to pause this and try to put a real username here, a real password and the real receiver name and we'll see that uh, we get this thing. Okay, so let me pause that for a second. So now I have put my email password and two email here. As I tell you, as I told you, unfortunately, I don't have any separate or a, uh, useless email pa uh, password or a separate email. I am putting my own credential here. So that is inside uh, these regions. I hope you got it. Now we let us try to put a debug over here. Or in fact, let us put over send email and try to debug this. Let us save this and let us build this project so we should see test subject and uh, this h3 content in our email so let us see the method our method name is method to send email and method to i don't see it here it is let us debug this test case remember we are not using any driver here so no browser for now you can use that we are here for learning so let us learn that so now it has all you no know, it is traversed through all the elements and now let us write down let us press f10 here it will take some time if i put f10 here or f5 it will take some time so at this uh, moment it will uh, stop for a second and now it has sent mail so we can see so it has got no exception while well, if you are using the same code you will getting exception here i will explain that later and let us make a put f5 and our method is finished see let us now check our gmail or oh, sorry how to mail so now we have a test subject as well as test mail from selenium tutorial so this uh, we wrote in h3 so now we have that in our h3 okay fine so now let us try to make it a generic test method or a generic method that can be used inside any um, say test methods fine so this is here so let us put another test method and we'll name that public void trigger email fine again try f let us try to catch exception fine here we'll try to throw an exception assert so that we can catch that r equal and we using one if one equal to two that is not so it will throw an exception and we'll catch that exception here fine so for now we can write So now we need to have a separate method which we can use here. So let us create a generic method like public void send and email now. Fine. And it should take a string subject and a string of body content. See, let us copy this and let us try to paste it here. Now we have this method and we are using subject here, so we need not to declare subject here because we'll have subject from above and body content. Let us, in fact, name it content body so that we don't have to 
change it many time and we need we actually we don't need these two lines so you can remove them okay so subject equal to subject and body is main is content body now we have that method fine so this is quite easy use this in exception use this method send an email now fine and subject what it what exception is it throws e dot message if you want to trim it trim it fine and what is your content body let us put e dot stack test it is going to write uh, not to string now it put semicolon here so now we have this is going to be our subject and this is going to be our body content that exception at line number this line number that and all the other stuff so it will trigger here it will send a, this is the subject and content body so let us put a debug over here and debug over here fine let us save that let us build it oops say i thought we were going to send also we will i thought we will send attaching an attachment so i forgot that because my recorder crashed <laughs> so let us try to put attachment here uh, we can write mail dot attachment equal to new not attachment collection okay attachments dot add new attachment and then you have to give a file name or file path or whatever you want to give it here fine so as i told you we will be sending this email this is what we created let me copy the path and I hope this is the right path so this is slash and you if you want to you can put double slash or you can just put at the rate and it will understand that this is a file path okay so we have attachment as well now let us save it and in our text explorer we have trigger email that is this test method so from here it will throw an exception we don't need here let us debug the selected test and wait for wait 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 now aside dot r equal that is not so it is going to throw an exception here oopsie and exception is assert this are equal field ex expected and actual so this is the message and this is our subject here let us see so if i'm to going press 11 so it is now here you can see this is our subject and this is our content body all the line names and etc so let me press f5 so and wait for it f5 it will do the process of sending mail in the background and now done so in text explorer we can see the trigger email method pass so let us check the email again and you can see now it has the method uh, the exception message as subject all this all these things are you know uh, the stack trace at which line this error which error this line you can put any html here you can put table row column all you can put it here and this is our email which is not looking good let us see
okay good fine so here it is this is our attachment so this we send this attachment and we have now it is well so again there are some critical test methods which required to send an email exactly at that moment you can put that over here or you can put when an entire series of test methods or a test suit completes you prepare the action report and send it over here so i hope you guys have uh, learned this i will put this description in uh, this all the smtp server hosts and port numbers in description so i hope you have guys have learned how to send an email how to attach it so thank you for watching this video like this video if you want to ask thing write down in comments and uh, what i don't think anything missing you can also add cc and bcc over here just like we did so subscribe the channel it really helps it motivates so thank you for watching see you guys in the next one thank you